The House is set to vote today on whether or not to formalize the impeachment inquiry into President Biden. We've got some live pictures of the House floor that's right now. A resolution will require the support of nearly all of the 221 Republican representatives. House Speaker Mike Johnson says he believes his party will have the votes. I want to welcome in Kate Martell now. She is a national political reporter for The Hill to make hay of all this that is happening at this hour. Let's begin with Hunter Biden. Did anybody have any idea that he was going to show up and give this statement? We did not have a heads up, Marnie, that Hunter Biden was going to be making a statement like this, which I would argue actually ended up being a very powerful statement. Um, we had been unclear whether or not he would actually show up for the deposition that House Republicans had been requesting. And, you know, he kind of, he did both. He showed up, but he also said, I'm not going to speak behind closed doors, which politically I think is going to help him. That, you know, the fact that we've heard about Hunter Biden for years and years, but that's one of the first public statements that we've seen of him on camera defending himself. Um, and I think by now showing up, he, you know, is I think having this power struggle with House Republicans. He and his and his Democrats and his lawyer all arguing that if he were to speak behind closed doors, then the Republicans could twist some of the sound bites to um, show whatever that they want to show politically. And by him saying that I'm here, I'm ready to testify, which is not uh, publicly, which is not an offer that House Republicans have given him so far. Um, you know, it was a bit of a surprise, but also at the same time, I think was a very interesting political maneuver for Hunter Biden. Well, and we'll get to the what's next in a moment, because I think there's some big question marks as to what happens here in the next hour or so. Uh, but it was a very personal statement. We haven't seen him come out and talk about these things publicly. We've seen him go in and out of court time and time again. Uh, what did you make of some of what he shared, particularly his admittance to his battle with addiction, but saying that is not grounds for impeachment. I was irresponsible for my money, but that was on me. My father had nothing to do with this. Yeah, I think it was it was fascinating, Marnie, to hear him talk about it from the personal side and to talk about his family, um, you know, talking about his struggle with addiction and, you know, to, to to discuss some of the charges that are that are being held against him. Um, that it's the first time we've really heard this. And I think it's interesting also into the context of some Axios reporting yesterday of how much this has been personally hurting the Biden family, that President Biden feels a lot of guilt for even running for president. President because not only does his, is his son in legal trouble, but this adds this whole new element that he has now, you know, become the, the face of, of red meat conservative um, headlines and media. And for years that while he does have this legal struggle that um, it is, I think, magnified on such a degree because of his father's position in office. So, um, you know, by, by looking at Hunter Biden's statement and talking about how this is affecting him personally, and by even saying that his father had nothing to do with this, that this is a very calculated move. And I think this is what we're trying to see Hunter Biden defend himself publicly outside of all of the legal mess. But this is one of the first times we've seen him come out and publicly, you know, talk about his own personal struggles, which I think a lot of Americans Americans um, can empathize with on some level. Right. I mean, he calls out Republicans chairing these committees specifically. He says they've impugned my character, attacked my family, ridiculed my struggle with addiction. They've attempted to dehumanize me. He says they have no shame, no decency, and saying the light of the love of my father, they have turned to darkness. I mean, it is an interesting strategy in terms of sympathy um, that anyone can relate to, to being personally attacked, whether or not um, that is grounds for impeachment is the question of the hour. What now, though? Right. So they they said if if you didn't show up for the closed door deposition, then you'd be held in contempt. Is that the next move for Republicans? Are they right now thinking, OK, now what do we do? Yeah, I think that, Marnie, that is probably the next logical step that we're expecting today for House Republicans to vote to formalize this imp impeachment inquiry, which adds a little bit of legal weight. Um, so for him not to show up today um, for a subpoena now, because the House is voting later today to probably formalize this inquiry, that you know does make it so that they can um, hold him in contempt of court uh, or contempt of Congress by not showing up and testifying. So I think that's the lo ne next logical step. I do think it's fascinating, though, the fact that he did show up on some level. That you know when this plays out, likely in the courts, that um, by you know playing ball and not just it wasn't he didn't go radio silent, but he showed up. Um, he did make a statement. 
statement, he did say he's willing to testify that I think, you know, that will be a fascinating legal battle to, to follow. Um, but that's the most likely step, especially considering the timing today of the House vote to formalize this impeachment inquiry and add some legal weight behind this probe that House Republicans have been forging through with. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.